So in front of me, I have a uh, cassette adapter, Bluetooth. Uh, that is, if you have a car with a uh, cassette deck, you know, a lot of people these days, most people these days, matter of fact, don't have cassette plays in their car. But if you're just one of these people who have a uh, classic car or an older car, then you might consider buying one. For instance, if you have an old VW or a uh, an old Chevrolet with the uh, AC Delco in it, or an old VW with a Becker in it, or whatever, a Blaupunkt, then um, there's not just a lot of room for a uh, for another for another radio for a uh, a larger radio. And then keeping the original radio might be an option. So this is pretty much how it uh, how it looks like set adapter Bluetooth and then it's got a bunch of stuff written on it um, yeah you know it can turn your car cassette into a Bluetooth music receiver and you can uh, make phone calls with it four hours of uh, of use with it it automatically powers on when, once you uh, insert it into the cassette deck it has even it has a use, use built-in whatever uh, built-in microphone to send voice command buttons to send voice commands to your smartphones personal assistant all right let's take a look at it so uh, once you've opened it up this is uh, how it looks like um, this is the adapter and then here you have the uh, uh, the button, switch it off and on. And then you got the, uh, the USB to charge it, micro USB. And then you have a uh, uh, sm small microphone that comes with it. And I will show you how it looks like. So uh, it's now opened. It's opened up. They call it a uh, microphone door, and as you can see, it's, op it's uh, opened up. Um, yeah, there's a microphone in it, and um, supposedly uh, you can just have uh, have conversations so uh, via this microphone, and and uh, it's also something that we're going to check out. So. Probably it's gonna it's gonna dangle out of your cassette deck, which is gonna look kind of goofy. But the only thing that matters really is that the, that you can uh, have conversations with it um, once you've paired it to your telephone. Okay, so now I've seen how uh, how it looks like. This is the uh, verse side, and it says for the best results. Leave the power switch in the off position when inserting into a tape deck, as you can see. So that's something that we will be doing. Um, now you've seen it all, and I will insert it into the tape deck. See, and I you know, will just listen to the uh, sound quality of it, if it's any good or not. So we're going to find out. I've uh, installed the thing, the adapter, I've installed it, the Bluetooth adapter, and the sound is not bad at all. As a matter of fact, uh, the sound is very good. That, of course, has more to do with the uh, with the fact that um, that this uh, specific car has a very good speaker system. This, this is uh, a Chrysler 300M. So, you, uh, so we know that it has a very good uh, speaker system. So I had so much go going for it, but nevertheless, uh, this is just a very good system. There's just a little bit of, uh, how should I say, but there's just, just a little bit of noise. Not that really, it's not really disturbing. You can, you can pretty live with it. You can live with it pretty well, but um, yeah, that's pretty much how it is. And then you see this uh, light flickering in it inside the uh, deck. And that means that you're connected, that it's paired with your uh, mobile device. So I'm not really, I'm not at this point in the, uh, 
and the quality of this uh, thing. If you have a uh, older vehicle with uh, no um, auxiliary jack or USB jack, or whatever, then uh, this is just a, a very good and very cheap alternative. Thank you for calling Clayton Hotel Lee. Dial 1 for reservation, Dial 2 for reception, Dial 3 for meetings and events. Dial 4 for account. Dial 5. Yeah, good afternoon. This is uh, Pablo speaking. Um, I would like to make yeah, I would like to have some. Uh, I would like some information on uh, 